VR has certainly made large strides over the last few years, but fortunately, there is always more that can be developed. A company called VR Engineers and 60OF have developed a system of VR that is now being designed for a new level of VR experiences. I was able to talk with the CEO of VR Engineers, Mark, as well as Paul Bryan of 60OF Motion to find out more regarding this headset. Our headset specializes in uh, highest immersion possible. And for us, and me personally, it means combination of very high quality picture with wide field of view. So when you put on the headset, you actually don't care about the technical stuff. You are fully immersed. This headset isn't going to be designed with the consumers as the main customer. One of the clients looking to take this headset on for training purposes is NASA. So unless you are planning missions to Mars or training pilots in the Air Force, this may be a bit overkill for your VR needs. One of the most interesting parts of the VR rig was the chair that people who were demoing the headset were placed in. And this was also a very amazing piece of technology. This is a 6DOF rig that allows us to simulate quite a lot of motion and shaking everything you need to have from a, a flight simulation. And the way how it works is actually that in this setup we are using Lighthouse 2.0 as a tracking system with two separate sensors. One is on the headset and another one is on the chair and ba they basically compensate each other. So when the chair moves, you are still in the same position in the cockpit and therefore the feeling you get is the G-Force. Well, basically the VR uh, simulation is running on the PC that's also connected to the platform via USB. Uh, there's a uh, device that actually takes a telemetry from any flight simulation software, driving simulation software, mostly any VR game or simulation that could put out some sort of data for telemetry is uh, transmitted to the servo controllers. Uh, some magic happens in there and controls the servo devices so that they move the platform exactly by what you're seeing in the headset so that you get the full VR experience. Now that is a ton of information to take in, but it boils down to the fact that anything that is happening on the VR headset will be fed into the chair and the motors in the chair will be able to reproduce what is happening. So when I'm flying a jet and I decide I want to pull an Anakin Skywalker and spin in the plane, it feels like I am spinning in midair. And unfortunately, we weren't able to record my reaction to this, but you can take my word for it that there were plenty of joyful screams while flying around. 60OF Motion is also not limiting themselves to the development of flight simulators only. Well, we also do racing simulation. Uh, I've been working with the XTAL people for about a year now on some military projects. Uh, there's tank simulation, uh, some sea simulation as well for Navy. Uh, many things in the works. We also have a seven degree of freedom platform that has pretty much the same thing, but there's a rotational base on the bottom that uh, has no connectivity with wires, so the complete base could spin around 360 degrees, which for driving and helicopter simulation, things like that, you know, it really simulates traction loss, and uh, when you're turning the car, I mean, if you go into a spin out, you literally spin in the simulator, which just makes it fabulous. Now, this technology isn't cheap. The headset itself costs around $8,000, and the full rig, including the motion chair, would run for $60,000. Fortunately, Mark is optimistic that this level of VR will one day make it into the hands of consumers. From the very beginnings, I believe that our technologies will, at the end, uh, end up in the consumer uh, and retail devices. It just takes time. It's same as in automotive industry. Let's say that you have certain technology uh, patented and used for Formula Ones, and then it takes few years till it finds its way to normal cars. And I believe that it will be our case as well. You can find more information on VR Engineers and 60OF Motion on their websites linked below, and make sure you check out our other videos as part of Dragon Rider Network's coverage of CES 2020.